What's going on Daytona fans? It's Kevin here and I'm going to be talking about my drag strip experience and my brand new Hellcat Red Eye. Alright Daytona fans, let's transition to the car. Right now it's 26 degrees, a uh, high of 38. Oh man. And it, I guess it's supposed to snow or something tonight, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's see what Titan thinks about it being 26 degrees out right now. Alright guys, here's what Titan has to say about 25 degrees. And here's what I have to say about getting an exhaust. Plenty loud for me. And plenty loud for my neighbors. This active exhaust is just amazing. And I see no reason to have to change it whatsoever. I uh, have thought about the mid-muffler delete, but really, I mean, it's it's plenty loud. I still might do it, but as of right now, I, I don't intend to. Uh, the active exhaust is just perfect for me. I mean, this is part of the reason why I picked up a 17 RT. You know, it comes with this exhaust for all RTs. And it's just, I mean, it's as loud as I'd like it to be. It's as rumbly and as deep as I want it to be. So Dodge, you did a fantastic job. Woo, it's cold guys. But as you know, my Daytona comes with the cold weather package. And what that means is that when I start her up, the heat comes on, the steering wheel and the heated seats also come on, which means the steering wheel is nice and warm already. My butt's toasty. Uh, I'm just waiting for the heat to warm up and really that's not going to take too long with a 5.7 under the hood. So let's talk about the drag strip experience. Now the drag strip experience was phenomenal. Um, I definitely made some mistakes, uh, but overall I was out there to have fun and to set a baseline. Now whether I'm, I can beat that or not come next season, well that's up to me isn't it? It's not really up to Titan. Because, uh, you know, a, a car is always going to perform the same way, you know, obviously based on temperature and humidity and all that stuff. But it's really a uh, driver mod that makes the car go faster. Now, some of the things I'd like to go over uh, will be basically me and my performance. As you know, at the end of the video, I told you guys that I skipped the water and that was my best time of the night and that's not a lie it absolutely was now my only regret was that i was told earlier to do that because i made seven runs and the last two runs i did it without water and those were the times where i got the 13 eights i think if i started that way i probably could have worked myself down to a 13 7. i think a 13 6 would be very ambitious on my end I did a little bit of research and it looks like the uh, professional magazines, you know, Car and Driver, um, Motor Trend and, and things like that, they were all able to get the car down to the low 13s, mid to low 13s. And I went into this experience knowing that I'm not going to do a low 13 or even a mid 13, um, mostly because they had a, a prepped track. Whether the track was prepped or not, I don't really know, I, I, that's not my department. Um, and they had a professional driver, which I obviously am not. So what did I learn from the drag strip experience? Well, I learned that I should skip the water. And as somebody had made a comment, um, I should lower my tire pressure. And that seems to make sense because, you know, the optimal tire pressure is meant for road driving. And if you lower the tire pressure, you get a, just a little bit more grip. But at the same time, you are gaining additional friction. Now, the perfect pressure is what I, I'll have to experiment with because if I lower it too much, then there's too much friction and it'll actually slow me down. If I don't lower it enough, then it won't really benefit me at all. So that's what I learned. And as far as uh, the revolutions go, I, I kind of stepped on the brake and the gas at the same time. And that was for every run. I didn't use the launch control because I was pretty sure I'd just spin tires. Uh, I think I had launched it around 1500, um, maybe close to 2000 at the highest, and that 
particular run, I did squeal a little bit off the line, and maybe that's a good thing because I was going, but when you're spinning tires, you're not really going anywhere quick. So that was my experience. So what are the takeaways from my drag night experience? Well, the drag night was amazing. Uh, next time, I'm gonna definitely skip the water. There's no point in doing a burnout. These all season tires operate at such a wide range of temperatures that even if I heated the tires up, they would have performed exactly the same as if I didn't. Uh, I'm going to lower the tire pressure and uh, I'm gonna try to experiment a little bit more with the launch. I'm gonna see what RPM works best. That way I can get the best launch and I'm going to work on my reaction time. My reaction time was probably the worst thing out of the entire night. Uh, I, If I had launched a little bit better and quicker, I probably could have gotten my time down to a 13.7, maybe a 13.6, but that's, I mean, that's really, really pushing it. All right, Daytona fans, are you guys ready for the reveal of the Hellcat Red Eye? It's right here. Ha, ah. huh? gotcha. No, of course I don't have a 797 horsepower Hellcat, but I do have a 797 thread count t-shirt. It's probably not that, it's probably much lower, maybe like 370, like my Daytona. Uh, no, probably a lot less than that too. But anyway, uh, this is my uh, new purchase. It is the Hellcat Red Eye Reindeer T-shirt that Dodge offers. And if you're interested, go to Dodge Life right now and pick one up for yourself. I think it was like 20 bucks or something. And you know what? It's pretty cool for the uh, holiday spirit. It's a limited production T-shirt. And I can absolutely vouch for that because I wanted to get a medium and they were out of mediums. So I had to get a large you can see the size right here large and as you can tell there's the Dodge logo right there there is the Hellcat with a set of reindeer ears and I'll definitely have this on in the upcoming videos so it won't just be hanging up you'll see me wearing it and if you think this is something you want to get you better jump on it because the larges may be gone soon all right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the reveal, and I had a lot of fun teasing it. Um, I don't have space for three cars. I already have the Daytona and I already have the pickup truck. So I, I, I'm i not a rich person. I, I don't have three spaces. Plus, I don't think I can afford a red eye right now anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yes,